Pepper War here and welcome to my build guide for my new and improved Lightning Arrow Ranger. I'm gonna do the usual, I'm gonna start by uh, showing off my passive skill tree and then I'm gonna show off my uh, Sendesi skill tree and the Gems and Gear I'm using. And if you have any questions about anything about this build, feel free to ask me in the comments and I'm gonna do my best to answer your questions. So, let's get started. Starting as a Ranger, obviously. I just went for the projectile damage, the first one. I didn't pick up the, all the other projectile damage. I took the evasion and life notes here, all of these notes. I went to fitness. I took heart of the oak. Ballistic mastery. Aspect of the eagle. It's nice bone damage notes here. Aspect of the links for uh, increased physical damage with attacks, movement speed, crit chance, and some dexterity intelligence. I have survivalist. Uh, evasion and uh, elemental resistance. Then I went down here to take a uh, heart seeker, heavy draw, and deadly draw. I also have harmless. Then I went up here to the shadow area and took a uh, blood drinker. I took fangs of the viper, nullification, sniper, will of blades, coordination, blood siphon. I even had trickstery, assassination, and all of these script notes here. Moving down here. Uh, after Harbalism, I took uh, Lichery and all of these uh, nice bow crit strike chance and multiplier notes and crit strike chance notes. Went all the way down here. I took uh, Iron Reflexes. I took uh, King of the Hill for the. Uh, because King of the Hill is a just an amazing crit strike chance for both, and it's just a really, really good note. I have uh, Trickstery, Tix, <laughs> Fix Skin, sorry. All these li nice life notes here. And my main way to getting back uh, life and mana when I'm killing enemies and hitting enemies, it is uh, Vitality Void and Spirit Void. And just taking Spirit Void and this Mana Leech and this Life and Mana Leech, it's enough to sustain your uh, Lightning Arrow and Burning Arrow. I have Clock and Chain, because I really like this note to give you Elemental Resistance and a good amount of Evasion and Armor. I have Golos Blood, and as I said before, I think I said before, I'm using Iron Reflexes because this is not an Evasion build. It is actually a, it is actually an Armor based build, so I convert all of my Evasion into Armor instead. I have Fury Bolt, Art of the Gladiator and Bravery. Uh, some other notes I can recommend taking, it is actually take uh, this French charges note here, so you get one more maximum French charges. Even taking uh, this French charges note, and taking this French charges note, because that will give you a certain amount of damage, and I'm using uh, Blood Rate, which is generating uh, French charges, so when I'm leveling up more, I'm going to take all of those three French charges. So let's. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's take a look at my uh, ascendancy tree. I ascend to a uh, dead eye, and I ascend two times. I just, I need, just need to ascend one, uh, one another time. But uh, the most important thing I took it is uh, fast and deadly, which is an amazingly good note. And I took ricochet. And then when I ascend for the final time, I'm going to take fair shots. So you do even more damage to enemy which are further away. Which are, in my opinion, the best choice. But you can take powerful precision, but it's not as powerful as fair shot, if you ask me. <coughs> so, let's take a look at my gear. First off, I'm gonna go on my weapon, which are Lionel's Glare, which pretty much was well, one of the best bows you can use. It's a very cheap bow, actually, and really easy to train with other people. You don't have to have it in a 5-link, by the way. You can just have it, like, no links at all, and uh, you just use an armor instead for your 5-links. But uh, you can use a rare bow. If you can get a rare bow, which have really high... Uh, which have high crit chance, high physical and high attack speed, that would be even better on Lionel's Glare. But the biggest part with Lionel's Glare is actually hits can't be evaded, so you don't need any accuracy, you will hit 100% of the time anyway. 
I using uh, <coughs> sorry using this real nice rare uh, headpiece which give me a good amount of life and good resistance and have really high uh, evasion rating which uh, are transformed into armor. If you just want more damage, I recommend using Rat's Nest instead, which are a really powerful helmet, as you can see on the screen right now. That helmet will increase your attack speed and crit chance, give you a good amount of uh, item rarity, and it also makes your character smaller. It's a really powerful helmet, but it doesn't have uh, it have good evasion, but it have no other protection, giving no life, so your life will be lower, but your damage will be much higher. Moving on, I'm using this uh, amulet here, which have flat physical damage, crit chance, life, and actually gave me life for every enemy hit by my attack, which are really nice. I'm using this quiver here, which have elemental uh, damage, uh, increase elemental damage with weapons, crit multiplier, crit chance, flat physical damage, good life, and good fire resistance. It's a really nice quiver, and I actually recommend going for something like this. You can go with a crit quiver, by the way. I'm using this ring here again. Flat physical damage. It has good amount, a pretty good amount of life. Give me some uh, increased mana regeneration and some good resistance. Using this armor here. This is not a five linked armor, but it's a really nice armor. It has good amount of evasion and I have good amount of resistance and life. You can go for something like uh, Belly of the Beast instead, if you want even more life and survivability. I'm using this ring here, again, give me a good amount of resistance, some intelligence and some good amount of life. It could have flat physical damage on it. I'm using these rare gloves here, you give me so, a small amount of attack speed, a good amount of life and resistance. And uh, but if you want more damage, you can go for something called Lia uh, Malagares Virtue, whatever they're called. I can never pronounce that word for those items, but you can see it on the screen, which have a huge amount of crit chance and crit multiplier and some attack speed. They just, they, it is just a very powerful gloves, but they're really expensive, and uh, this is the cheaper and more defensive options I'm using. I'm uh, using this belt here, which are a rustic stash, which gave me a good amount of uh, increased physical damage, some life, and some small amount of resistance. It's not the best be belt overall, but it is a powerful belt and it will work just fine. And finally, I'm uh, using these boots here, which are really nice movement speed, and try to get really try to get uh, boots with movement speed on, because you really want those. You want those. Uh, movement speed so you can just blaze forward into the map so let's take a look at our uh, the games i'm using i can start with my lightning arrow setup and i'm gonna try to be as clear as possible uh lightning arrow it is supported by uh, greater multiple projectiles weapon elemental damage projectile uh, physical projectile attack damage and faster attacks. I hope I was clear enough when I showed that. I gotta show it again. Greater multiple projectiles, weapon elemental damage, physical projectile attack damage, and faster attacks. All of these uh, support gems you can get through quest ward. Yes, quest ward and playing the game normally. My other setup, which are my burning arrow. And burning arrow is just supported by three games. It is supported by weapon elemental damage. Physical projectile attack damage and slower projectiles. And as you can see here now, uh, this is without any auras and buffs. I do uh, 26,000 damage with my burning eye. Then burning eye is actually my main single target skill. I'm using it against uh, bosses and all of that. It's a really powerful skill. A lighting arrow I use against many enemies, but you can use lighting arrow against single target as well. It will just work fine. And the uh, orals I'm using, I have a grace. If I if I run into something I need some more armor, I can just change my orals up to use grace instead to get a huge amount of uh, protection. I'm using hatred because hatred is just the most powerful, one of the most powerful or you can use to a physical build. And I have a hell of ash. Which you can switch out if you want to a hell of ice instead, if you just want to blast the enemy more with the ice. 
we sort of really hilarious if you ask me. So one of the main reasons why I sometimes use Hell of Ice instead is just because I like to see the enemy explode in ice and it's just so much fun for me. I'm using uh, Blood Rage and it is supported by increased duration. Blood Rage will increase my uh, attack speed pretty much, uh, with a really good amount. It gives me a good amount of life leech and uh, it also generates power shot, uh, frenzy shot, which are a pretty good uh, damage boost. But it also drains your life. As you can see, I'm not take, I'm taking a little bit of damage when I'm using it, but I just need to hit one enemy and all of my life is up again. So it's no problem that it actually drains my life a little bit. I also have a small custom damage taken setup, which are just custom damage taken with Immortal Call. And uh, yes, and the other games I'm using, I have a Physical to Lighting, which I'm just leveling up. And I have a Life Gain on Hit, which I'm also just leveling up. And that's pretty much... Oh, I forgot one game. I'm also using a Blink Arrow, which are pretty much a must-have, just to get out of bad situation. You just fire a Blink Arrow and you just teleport to that area, so you can get away from whatever dangerous, dangerous situation you are in. And the final game I have, I just have a Mana Leech here, which are also leveling up. And that's pretty much my gear. If you have any questions about the build, and uh, something related to the build, please just let me know in the comments, and I'm gonna do my best to answer them. But anyway, I hope you guys liked this video, tell me what you think about it, subscribe and like if you want to see more build guys like this, and thank you all for watching.